All right, here we are with day eight of the Cadillac engine rebuild. Tonight is gonna to be the install. Hopefully, I'll be able to get this thing in and motor mirrors bolt on, bolted on in an hour or so, assuming nothing goes wrong. So I'm gonna do a time lapse of this one because it's just gonna be a lot of buzzing around, putting bolts in and lining stuff up and stuff. So let's get to it. Ooh, so excited. Look at that. Lay it in place. Got a couple of bell housing bolts in. A couple of motor mount bolts are in. Now I'll just push it ahead, put it up on the ramp, and start buttoning stuff up. The end is near. It's really nice to see this thing on the ramp again, where I can get under it without having to crawl on my back. Uh, so now, let's see if I can get some light on. Now, I just need to tighten up all these bell housing bolts and get in under here through the starter hole, bolt torque converter on, oil lines, transmission lines, all that junk. We're getting very, very close to starting it up. Just a quick update. Engine is obviously in. It's bolted in. New motor mount is on it. Bolted to the torque converter. Bell housing bolts are all in. Uh, wiring is hooked up. Ground starters bolted on. That kind of thing. Um, tomorrow, I will bolt on the power steering pump, and you know all that assembly with the alternator and stuff on it. Water pump, radiator intake and exhaust so hopefully by tomorrow night might be a bit late but i think i'll be driving this home so that's getting pretty exciting it's like 20 after 10 right now and i gotta work tomorrow so i'm gonna call it a night so um i guess i'll see you in like two seconds but tomorrow it's tomorrow already that was too fast let's continue so what we're going to do now is put on the power steering and alternator pump bracket and then either the water pump or the intake. I think I might go for the intake first. It'll give me a little bit more room. Let's get at her.
I'm gonna go ahead and throw the oil in it. Get the pump all primed up. Cause I'm getting really, really excited and it's actually ready to fire. Unless I forgot to plug something in, but I don't think so. Obviously I don't have the water pump on it yet, no coolant or anything like that, but, but uh, I just wanna fire it up, make sure everything's good before I go too far and uh, push my luck. So it's obviously not done yet, but I'm gonna test fire it because I always get extremely anxious right before I fire an engine, so I could vomit right now. So let's uh, see what happens. It's gonna take a minute to fire because it's gotta fail the mass air where I'm on speed density. And I had the PCM unplugged with, you know, with the batteries unplugged. So we'll uh, give it a crank a little bit, get the fuel pressure up and fire it. I'm not gonna run it very long because I have no cooling in it. So I'm gonna run it for a couple seconds, just make sure it's got oil pressure and stuff. So fingers crossed, let's see how it goes. Ah, oh, I forgot the keys. Okay, completely by accident, but let me tell you how amazing these LS engines are. Look at this. One whole bank not even plugged in to the plugs. Look at that. You fired on four cylinders. Let's go for test number two. All right, plug wires are actually plugged in this time. Initial test fire was a success. Now I can bolt on the water pump, put some coolant in it. I just put in a quart of transmission fluid on a quart of power steering, or a half quart, just to make sure that when I put the belt on and all that, that it isn't dry. And uh, I'll get it up to temperature and check everything and put some exhaust on it. Thank you. 
It's back up in the air once again. I did have a little bit of a leak of coolant here. One of my heater hoses wasn't tightened up all the way, but that is very minor for, you know, what could have gone wrong and all that stuff. So now, let's get some light on. Got to get the Y pipe put on, which is not serious because when I did the turbo, I left the whole exhaust on it with my homemade muffler. So all I got to do is take the couple pipes that I kept, hook them here, weld it on there, here, and weld it on there. So there shouldn't be a lot to it, assuming everything lines up well and I can get at it to weld it. Now that I'm absolutely rotten, the exhaust is done, wide band is plugged in, and I got all the fluids put in, but not topped up yet, because I didn't want to run it with no exhaust on it. So now I can put it down, get it up to temperature. I got to run a tune because of course it's going to be different with the cam in it and the different compression ratio. I'm sure it's got something to do with it. So I'll get the laptop plugged in, get it idling, and make a couple tweaks, and then we'll be able to take it for a drive. On a side note, I tried to weld the pipe, I tried to tack it together, and I couldn't get my head up there with a helmet on, so I just kind of closed my eyes and looked away. Don't do that, because the whole phone is just a big blue dot right now, so, um, yeah, just don't do it. Here we go. It's all connected. Lean 15, 15, 5, that kind of thing, so that's okay. That's not too bad for getting to run it. Let's go see what the exhaust sounds like while we're waiting for this to gather some data. not what you expect a Cadillac to sound like, is it? Well, I'm not putting the hood back on it until I take it for a drive, so let's go see how it is. All right, we're going for a test drive. Yes, let's go for a test drive. Justice, how about you hold the phone? Okay, put your seatbelt on seat belt on because... Safety first, <laughs> seatbelts. I don't know how you're driving. <laughs> Uh, it's pretty violent. All right, so we got a log running. Justice is going to take the control. Uh, not all that steady. That's okay. It's pretty violent, I must say. It's nice. She turns some heat on. Oh, we're getting stuck.
legitimately afraid <laughs> the left, that was going to go out the window. Take flight. Ready? Go. Go, 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 go. go. Truck on the way in. <laughs> Please don't ram the ram. <laughs> God, it sounds good. Sick. Test drive successful. Well, I'm happy with that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Big shot out there. So from what I can tell, Cadillac is done. Yeah, there's supposed to be something here, but I forgot my filter at home. So it's just going bare bones for now, which I'm sure doesn't matter anyway, because the turbo never had a filter on it either. But I'm surprised that you can still see a lot of the purple. Look down here, you can see the headers. You can see the block, looks nice. Black water pump. This side you can't see anything, only wires and trash. So we'll look over here, look on this side. Looks really, really nice actually. With the Cadillac covers and stuff on it. So I'm really happy with that. So let's shut the hood on this operation. Cool. So now I gotta find something else to break so I can make more videos. Until then, thanks for watching everybody. Have a good night. <laughs>